I know it's a classic case of be careful what you wish for. Everyone was saying they wanted the rain. Now we're like, OK, enough. We're good. We have another round of showers and thunderstorms, especially tomorrow afternoon. I want to start to talk about where we are, though, in regards to that rainfall deficit that we have going on out there right now, because every Thursday, the U.S. Drought Monitor issues this report. And believe it or not, they're saying not only are we still dry, but they've actually added more areas of Connecticut into that abnormally dry category mean the last few days have not helped the drought situation. I mean, I think it helped. We chipped away at a little bit of the deficit. But if you're going back 30, 60, 90 days, we still have a lot more to go before we're able to eliminate this drought. So I was a little surprised that we weren't able to knock some of that back. So we're still in it, guys. Temperatures in the low 80s in Hartford, right around the 80 degree mark in New Haven. So it's a mild night out there. And not only that, it is very humid air you can wear. And that's going to be the case as we head through the day tomorrow. I think by Saturday, it'll be a little bit less humid. You're still feeling but but not quite as juicy out there. Severe thunderstorm warning just to our east. Look at that. That thunderstorm's trying to creep into Connecticut, but it looks like the part of the thunderstorm that might be grazing us at this point would not be the severe part, but still it looks like a shower moving into far eastern areas, Voluntown, North Stonington, and more of that may try to clip southeastern Connecticut here, but not likely severe anymore at this point. There might be a leftover shower or sprinkle in spots too. Then we have a cold front that dives down from the north tomorrow, and that will reignite additional showers and storms, and I think more numerous than what was out there today. It was really nice to get a little bit of a break in the action. Tonight, low temperatures right around the 70 degree mark heading through the day tomorrow. It won't be quite as warm as it was out there today. We hit 90 degrees today and the reason why is we're going to have more clouds and again the scattered showers and storms as we head through the afternoon. So if you were thinking about making it a beach day, I know some people do have off from work tomorrow. The morning is going to be the best time, maybe even the early afternoon, because as we head through the day, we'll increase our odds of seeing a thunderstorm. So here's what that looks like on our future satellite and radar, that sunshine to start off the day. But as we head towards lunchtime, it's on and popping, at least for parts of the state, with some heavier downpours. And there is a chance for a stronger thunderstorm in there, too. I don't think severe weather is widespread, but it's one of those days that I think we need to just keep an eye on the radar. Then let's talk about the weekend forecast. We start off with low clouds and fog for your Independence Day on Saturday. By the way, earlier today I said so many plans everyone has this weekend. If you don't have plans, I, I, don't, I didn't want to make you feel bad. I don't have plans either. <laughs> it's a COVID world. We're all just trying to get through. Uh, so don't feel bad if you don't have plans either. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s as we head through the afternoon. There's a slight chance for a shower in western Connecticut in the afternoon for Independence Day. But I think most of us stay dry. High temperatures in the low to mid 80s, including 85 in Hartford and 83 for a high temperature in New Haven. There is a better chance for a shower or thunderstorm to pop up Sunday afternoon. But I still think that most of the state ends up staying dry. I did want to add it to the forecast just so you're aware of it and you're not surprised. But I still think you can enjoy most of the day outside if you do have, if you are one of the lucky few that do have plans. Monday, another chance for an isolated storm. Wednesday and Thursday of next week. We're back in the 90s. We actually do have another chance for a heat wave and it'll be humid for Wednesday and Thursday of next week, too. So the National Weather Service is already talking about issuing heat advisories for that. We'll keep you posted every step of the way. Dan and Matt will have an update on tomorrow morning on the Fox 61 Morning News.